Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to crack straight on with the Cage Warriors middleweight contest. Please welcome to the cage in the blue corner. It is Jatty Milan. Well, it's time for our third and final preliminary bout of the evening here at Cage Warriors 80. And we move up to the middleweight division. And making his way to the cage now is an undefeated fighter. Another Frenchman looking to make a mark here on Cage Warriors, Jatty Milan. Looking to put on a show here for this crowd at the Indigo here at the world famous O2 Arena. And as we creep ever closer to our main card, just over an hour's time live around the world. Let's see if we can finish the prelims off with a bang. There's certainly been no shortage of action so far, Nick. Yeah, it's been some really great fights. Some early stoppages, really great fights. Now bringing in an undefeated record is Jatty Milan. Four wins, no defeats. A couple of KOs and has gone to decision a couple of times too, so no stranger to the cage time, even though he's just four fights into his career. He's spent a lot of time in there. Exactly, and that's a good experience to have going the full distance and knowing how to pace yourself. That's a uh, valuable uh, Valuable. So. Yeah, we see so many fighters that you know, they'll come out and they'll have a string of first round knockouts or first round submissions. And the first time they go deep, that cardio is tested in ways that they never knew it possibly could be. So it's great to see these guys, even at amateur level now, having nice long fights and getting that cage time in before the big fights come along. And Milan's certainly no stranger to those. He's going to be taking on another international fighter. In the army, that's Juska from Lithuania, based here in the UK. I think probably safe to say that he loves the Bucky's favourite here. He's got that impressive record. He's fighting a guy coming off two losses on the bounce, but as we've seen already tonight, anything can happen, and those finishes really can come from anywhere. Exactly, and, uh, and Juska has, has gone the distance as well, so he's not, uh, not too... Uh, uh, he's, he's still got the... And now, please welcome his opponent tonight, fighting out of the red corner. It is Abidas Yuska. Abidas Yuska making his way to the cage. For what will be our final preliminary bout here at Cage Warriors 18. So many fantastic fights on tonight's main card. Of course, it all leads to the gold. The Cage Warriors welterweight title belt you once held, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Up for grabs again this evening. That was the good old days. <laughs> Just looking very focused here as he makes his cage walk. Absolutely. Very determined. Look on his face coming in here. Excited to see how he performs this fight. I have a feeling that uh, he might be able to pull off an upset. Absolutely, I mean, he's coming from a very, very capable gym, the MMA clinic, based not too far from where we are now in London, England. Lots of real workhorses coming out of that gym. Really yeah. well-rounded fighters. Of course, later on tonight, the crazy kid, Brad Wheeler, one of the MMA clinic's more famous faces. He's stepping up to welterweight for the first time to campaign in that division. So lots of great guys training together down in the MMA clinic. Great tie boxing coming out of that gym, some great submission wrestling too, so certainly no lack of tools. Absolutely, they got some good fighters down there. As we can see, Juska's background is Muay Thai, so it's going to be interesting to see how he comes out opening this fight up against the uh, all-round guy, Milan. Three rounds in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist who holds an unbeaten professional record of four wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 184 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Jatty Milan. And introducing 
introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai fighter with a professional record of one win, two losses. He stands six feet one inches tall and weighed in at 186 pounds from Lithuania. Fighting out of London, England, Alvidas Yuska. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Mr. Mark Goddard. Referee Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. Arvidas Juska in the black tie shorts. Jatty Milan in the blue trunks. And Nick, those tie shorts tell me that this man might have uh, possibly had a few tie contests under his belt as well. Yeah, absolutely. He, uh, he's got a lot of experience in Muay Thai. And there we see the first low kick of maybe many to come. Interesting again, here is Milan is Southpaw and Yuska is Orthodox Stance. So those, those Thai weapons are going to keep Milan guessing when he looks to barrel in. Yeah, exactly. But Yuska also needs to be careful that he doesn't get taken down off of the kicks. Because if he doesn't set them up, it's going to be easy to see him coming. And time counter from there. You see referee Mark Goddard there just warning Milan to keep the hand closed. Yeah, we want to avoid the eye pokes so you can't like extend your fingers too much. A recent rule changes over in America making that a punishable offense now to even hold the fingers open. And understandably enough, it's, it's a really serious injury if you poke somebody in the eye, potential injury, so uh, we want to keep that down to a minimum. That's one of the side effects of having open the gloves. You can, by accident, poke your opponent in the eye. So that's uh, to try and keep that down. One of those problems that MMA just doesn't seem to be able to solve, but hopefully these new regulations that have brought in the US recently will go some way to keeping it out of the sport. Nice low kick from Yusuke again. Not much had happened until now, but both fighters still kind of looking each other up. Searching for openings. Traditionally, Thai fighters, Thai fighters usually are quite slow to start. Yeah. First round's often a, a feeling out period in, in Thai boxing contests, and perhaps we've seen that from Yuska here. He's yeah. taken the center of the cage, and he seems to be dictating the pace of the fight, if nothing else. Yeah, absolutely. He's been the most offensive fighter so far, throwing a lot of leg kicks. <laughs> Jatsi Milan. Really nice left hand. Timed it. Threw the left hand, shot it on a takedown right after that. And now gets to the mount of Yusuke, who are in big trouble here. Bad position for the man from the MMA clinic. And can Milan stay on top? He gets the back here as Yusuke turns around. Delivers some nasty ground and pound. And you've got to believe this is where Milan's wanted the fight this whole time. Let's see what he can do with the position. He's doing a great job of staying on top so far. Trying to get in. Got the both hooks in. Got a solid position and some nasty punches here from the top. Right under the arm of Yuska and connecting to the chin. And those hooks really allowed him to ride his opponent's back and keep stable and really wind that left hand up. Yeah. And Yusuke right now is trying to avoid getting stretched out because if he gets stretched out against the mat, it's going to be really difficult to get up. But he needs to try and work his back towards the, the cage here, or at least do something to get out of this position because he, he is getting battered right now by those punches. Taking lots of punches and perhaps not fight ending shots in and of themselves, but it's all adding up here. Yeah, and you see Yusuke is getting stretched out now. This is going to be very difficult for him to move and defend himself. Roughly taking a close look here. And, and Milan doing a great job of staying on top here. Really showing that it's position before submission. Yeah, real solid base there. Yeah. Takes full mount. He's going to look to create a bit of space, posture up. And just get something behind those shots. Some yeah. big elbows there. Cracking into the skull of Yuska. Pressing the head down, trying to get the elbows in. Yuska turns around, gives up the back again. Milan tries to stretch him out, as you can see here. 
because if you get him stretched out, it's going to be really difficult for Yusuke to defend himself, and maybe he can sneak in that submission or TKO victory. Gatti Milan staying very active on top here. Punches coming from lots of different angles. Yeah, stretching out Yusuke again. He's bleeding out of the mouth now. You see here, trying to stretch him out here. Get that opening something to get the TKO submission. He's working good. Mark Goddard is taking a close look. And he's called it. Referee Mark Goddard warned his man. He needed to do something other than just cover up. He didn't see enough, and he's called it perhaps yeah. a facial injury here as well. Yeah. And Yusko, I think, believes the round is over. He doesn't realize he's been called to TKO. Yeah, we heard the clap, and maybe he's confused and thought the time was up. But he, uh, he took some hot shots, so maybe he's not, you know, he's not there fully here. <laughs> uh, he thought the round was over. Well, it's a very important distinction to make here, Nick. The, the word that we're, we're looking at is intelligent defense. You can't just sit there with your hands round your head in the guard position and take punches. You have to be doing something to improve the position. You have to be moving. You have to be trying to find a way out. Unfortunately, Yuska wasn't doing that. Let's take a look at some of the action, though. That's that huge straight left hand that put Yuska on his back yeah. early on. Stunned him, and then it was just all Milan from there. Takes the back when Yuska turns around and just battered him with strong ground pound on elbows. And you see Mark got that warning there. Yeah. You've got to do something. You can't just cover up. Unfortunately, Yuska unable to. And Jassi Milan takes the win by TKO. 5 0 now in his career. Yeah. And what a platform to do here at Cage Warriors 8 for some fantastic action. You know, preliminary bounce. We're going to throw this one to Andy Freelander in the cage for just a moment's time to make it official for our final prelim of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to the contest at four minutes and 51 seconds of round number one, declaring the winner by TKO, Jatty Milan. The TKO victory for Jatty Milan. Both these fighters had a sizable following in the crowd and it's Milan who sends his fans home happy. We've had some fantastic fights here in our prelims, Nick. Yeah, absolutely. Finishes in all fights. Really fantastic. We've seen a TKO who you saw submission. So it's been really good. And Milan, what a performance. Like. And let's hope it bodes well for the rest of the action. It's a nice main card. An hour and 15 minutes. And we'll be live around the world with Cage Warriors 80. On behalf of Nicholas Darby, my name is Brad Ward. And we thank you for joining us here on the Sports Bible for our prelim stream. And we'll see you shortly for the main card, Cage Warriors 80.